Well, the inspiration came actually from uh, Bill and Deb Wallace. Uh, I flew in from Toronto one weekend and uh, they came running over and said, wouldn't it be a great idea to do a festival for charity in Kenora? And uh, so I called Michael uh, O'Flaherty and, and his wife and uh, they came up with the Lake of the Woods Arts Collective, uh, which is a tremendous uh, uh, charity in Kenora that helps out youth with respect to getting involved in the arts. So uh, we pulled that together in about three weeks. Uh, Deb and uh, Bill, of course, they had a lot of friends in the uh, in the music industry, and uh, this year we've been able to include uh, about 50-50 acts from Kenora as well as uh, outside Kenora, and we've got a tremendous uh, group of volunteers, and, and LOAC has done a great job, and so it's all about raising some money for the local charity. What kind of production goes into something like this? Well, the main, the main thing is to get uh, uh, get enough bodies around, because we are a volunteer organization, get enough bodies around to move equipment. Uh, we're on an island, so you have to load all the equipment on a boat, bring the boat over, and then offload the, uh, the equipment at the, at the stage. Uh, the city of Kenora was very kind to uh, build us a stage this year. We talked about it a little bit the end of last summer uh, with city council, and they they took it on as a capital project and, and so the last three weeks actually the stage was just completed about two days ago. But uh, what's been really cool is from the festival last year through to this year we created a Facebook page and we also created a Twitter account for Coney Music Fest and uh, we've also posted on YouTube and Ning. So it's been really fascinating. Facebook is uh, such a common tool for communication these days and we're updating regularly and uh, have been updating all day on Facebook and Twitter. The city committed $32,000, we got a stage with sound and light that's, uh, that's happened here on Coney and they gave us $1,600 for seed money to help us make sure we could produce uh, professional sound quality this year. So without the City of Kenora, the Mayor and Council, we couldn't have pulled this off.